Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, traders from around the world. My name is Alan. My website slash trading journal is wallstreet2easystreet.com. Feel free to check it out. And what I'd like to go over with today is what I call never give up, never surrender. And what I mean by that is when you're taking a trade and the trade goes against you, you end up getting stopped out. It's going to happen. It's going to happen a lot. Instead of uh, feeling sorry for yourself, and uh, rolling around in your pain, you need to stay focused and look for the next trading setup. So what I'd like to do is show you some examples that I had recently of some trades. They were live trades and uh, give you an idea of how I handled it and was able to uh, get back to uh, break even, if not uh, in the money a little bit. So I'll show you some good examples here. This first trade that I had I went long here at this point. You can see the little blue triangle. And what I was looking for was another leg up. And I took this trade shortly before 3 a.m. European Open. And what happened was as soon as the European market opened, the uh, euro was sold off immediately. And my maximum stop that I have set is set at 10 pips, but I ended up with five pips of slippage. So I ended up with a total of 15 pip loss. That's a pretty good size loss for me. And basically, instead of sitting around feeling sorry for myself about getting stopped out and about the slippage that I got, I stayed focused. I kept looking for my next trade setup, which I got here at this level. And I realized here that we're going to break out of our resistance area to the downside. And uh, so I went ahead and went short at this point, basically the same level where I got stopped out at. And rode it all the way down to this point here where I ended up closing the trade out for 16 pips profit so that ended up uh, turning that loss around pretty good and just by staying focused and not uh, getting distracted by my loss okay here's another example uh, this was on uh, 52914 so what I had here was I went ahead and took the market here long uh, looking for a breakout to the upside didn't happen uh, ended up coming down here and uh, getting stopped out here for 14 pips and there again that's a you know it's a good size loss for me uh, what I ended up doing at this point and the reason why I actually gave this a little bit more was I come back down here into this little area here of support and normally like I said my maximum stop is at 10 pips but I wanted to give this just a little extra room in case I got some a bounce off of this support area in here. And once I realized that didn't happen, the trade broke through. I immediately again realized I'm going to have some downward pressure still. So what I did at this point was instead of actually closing the trade, I actually hit the reverse button and reverse my trade. So I ended up with a 14 pip loss and I rode the market all the way down here to this point where I closed out for a 15 pip profit. So I was able to uh, get back to break even on that one plus a little bit. And uh, there again with my prior trades that I had, I was able to finish, finish the, uh, the day out pretty good and in the money. So my point is, uh, you know, don't give up. Don't uh, start wallowing, wallowing around in your pain when you lose a trade. Stay focused and Look for those next trade setups because they can uh, pull you right out of that doom and gloom that you felt like you were in when you took your loss. So stay focused at all times. If you lose a trade, forget about it. Move on to the next setup and you'll be on your way to uh, hopefully to financial freedom. So if you uh, get a chance, feel free to stop by check out my webpage. I've got a lot of information on here about uh, scalping the market and even if you're not interested in scalping I got some other information on here you may like so I hope you all enjoyed this video and feel free to stop by and check me out sometime good trading to everybody